There are plenty of examples of modern technologies based on quantum mechanics. In the Polariton Laboratory at the Faculty of Physics, we develop an idea to use single modes of confined light to mimic quantum phenomena known from other fields of physics. We want photons to have mass and spin like electrons so that we can come up with synthetic physical fields that will act on them. For instance, in a sense, we can stop light or force photons with an artificial magnetic field to change their path of propagation. In this manner, in one optical device, light can play the role of an electrons in integrated circuits and then with the speed of light can carry processed information. This is why we created uh, birefringent microcavities. Uh, the structures are developed at the University of Warsaw in collaboration with uh, Military University of Technology with Professor Viktor Piecek and Professor Przemysław Kula groups. Optical cavities allow for localization of electromagnetic field where the length of the cavity translates into successive halves of the wave. To build cavity we need two perfect mirrors. Typically the structure consists of dielectric or semiconductor layers, alternating layers, uh, with different refractive indices. Our idea of liquid crystal uh, microcavity is based on the combination of known properties of dielectric cavity and properties of liquid crystal. Liquid crystals are biofringent materials that are sensitive to external fields, for instance electric field. So we can tune the effective refractive index of the cavity in one direction and this gives us control over tuning and crossing of the photonic modes. By using appropriate imaging, the so-called reciprocal or Fourier space, we can image the full dispersion relation. When we tune two photonic modes of orthogonal polarization and different parity to the resonance, a characteristic scheme of spin-polarized dispersion is formed, which in the solid-state physics is called the rashba dresselhaus spin orbit coupling. This was what our article in Science was about. We have shown that photons undergo similar evolution to electrons in magnetic field, where the polarization of light plays the role of electron spin. Our work in light science and application in 2018 and Optica in 2021 showed that this analogy to a solid is much deeper and allowed for measurement of optical spin hole effect and for the first time optical persistent spin helix, as well as creation of vector fields called skirmels or merons. By controlling the photonic modes and polarization of incident light, we can observe higher order merons that have not been observed in optics so far. In our microcavities, we can control points with interesting topological properties like conical intersection and barrier faces. Liquid crystal microcavities are a tasty ground for research of topological properties that are hard to obtain in different methods, for example like in solid-state physics. In our research, theoretical description of light propagation through our structures is very important. We use Berman method, which consists in numerical solution of Maxwell equations in successive mirror layers and in birefringent medium. For the description of the system, we develop new theoretical models showing the close correlation between solutions to Maxwell's equations in the form of photonic modes and quantum mechanics. In our approach, we replace Bragg mirrors by a very thin layer with refractive index which tends to infinity. Our cavities have this advantage that can be integrated with our light emitters. By stimulating the emitter with a laser, we obtain a tunable system in which emitted light evolves according to the Hamiltonian for massive particles with a spin. We already observed Rajba Dresselhaus emission in a system with different emitters. The laser dyes, fluorescent proteins and layers of perovskite place in liquid crystal microcavity. One of our goals is to obtain room temperature Bose-Einstein condensates and to control coherent states of matter using synthetic gauges. For this purpose, we are currently testing various emitters. We will use our liquid crystal microcavities to study classical and quantum entanglement, quantum localization, nonlinearities, and topological protection. We have a grant for the Polish National Science Center for Synthetic Hamiltonians of Light and we coordinate Horizon 2020 FET Open project Topolite for the study of light emissions from topological states. Our liquid crystal microcavities can be used as a new layer architecture for optical computing. In the next step, we will use nonlinear phenomena present in our structure 
to build polarity on neural networks.